Hello my loves, welcome back for another video. The long awaited what I eat in a day video is now here. You guys are going to see what I pretty much eat to stay lean. I pretty much ate this all the time when I lost weight. Of course I like to experiment with new recipes here and there. And now that I have gotten to my goal weight number, I am literally just maintaining. You guys have been asking for a what I eat in a day video for so freaking long and it's finally here. I wanted to give you guys my best recipe recipes, the things that I actually eat, that I enjoy, that are quick and easy, that taste really good, and that are helping me with leaning out, toning my body, and making me feel super sexy in my new skin. So as someone who has lost over 36 pounds in the past couple months, I have been just eating things that make me feel good. I don't like to call myself anything specific like vegan, vegetarian, or anything like that. I do consume fish at times, I do consume dairy at times, and I do consume lots and lots of veggies and fruits. But one thing that I will say is whole food plant-based has really saved me and making sure that I'm eating vegetables and fruits that don't cause me to be bloated or uncomfortable or give me gas or anything like that. And I eat between my intermittent fasting window. So I like to eat now between about 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. being the latest. We'll have my last bite of food, if that. Sometimes I really just stop at seven. My body has gotten super used to intermittent fasting. It's very taboo still to talk about and I really Really don't care so if you're gonna leave any commentary about how I eat how I choose to eat or anything down below it will be removed because this is really just my journey I am NOT forcing anyone to do it and it was just a highly requested video so here it is I hope you enjoy it uh, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you guys like these types of videos from me today's video is also sponsored by bottle bottle which is a crucial part of my routine because having a cup like this in my life is and yeah follow me on Instagram and if you guys want more videos like like this, let me know. It is super important to me that I am drinking water when I get up, nothing else. I don't put caffeine in my body. I don't even put juice in my body. It's water first. Sometimes I like to spruce up the water with some lemon, with some orange slices. It really depends, but for the most part, it's just water in the morning, and that is what I've been enjoying. Then around 9 a.m., I go for a drive and pick up juices from a local juice place at least twice a week. Hi, heels on my tippies. Do say in Gabbana, that's on my tippies. Cop me better men when I write the dickie. I still got the juice, bitch, bite a sippy. sponsor which is bottle bottle first and foremost these sponsorships just keep getting better and better as someone who is on my health journey and I have been drinking water like a fish having something like this has been keeping me on top of my goals so let me tell you a little bit about bottle bottle and why this particular water bottle is the one that you need right now so first and foremost the aesthetic of this bottle is gorgeous and I love that although it is big it fits in almost every single cup holder that you have. I also just love the actual design of it. What's amazing about this bottle is one, it comes with a handle, two, it comes with a straw that you can remove. You can also drink your water from this portion if let's just say you don't wanna use a straw for whatever reason, but it's very easy to remove, very easy to clean. And what's really amazing about this is it keeps your drinks cold for 24 hours and it's not playing. Like this is really gonna have your freaking water icy. Like I'll put ice and water in this and immediately it will be cold. And then for the remainder of the day, my ice is still very much in the bottle. So it's amazing. It really keeps it cold and it keeps things hot for 12 hours. So if you wanna drink something hot out of this, maybe you wanna put coffee in this cause you're crazy and you need this much coffee. You can just put coffee in this and drink out of this throughout the day and it will keep your drink hot or cold. I actually have a few bottles from them that I decided to just show you guys. Um, this one is <laughs> so cute. It actually matches my outfit today. And then I also have this pink one. I'm actually going to give this to my mom because she always complains that she hates her water bottles and these she's going to love because one, I hate water bottles that have like a weird taste to them. Like sometimes they taste either like metally or too plasticky. This has no taste. It also is very easy to clean. It's like ergonomically built correctly. Like there's no weirdness. It's easy to clean, easy to open, easy to just, you know, put 
put in the dishwasher or whatever, or honestly, I don't even bother doing that. I literally just clean my water bottles every day. Simply take the straw apart, put the straw cleaner in it, and you're good to go. You can put fruit in this, whatever you want, and it's easy. You're able to decide whether you want to you know, drink it because it has fruit in it. Maybe you want like a couple pieces, so it has like a good enough wide mouth for that. Or if you're a straw person, you have the ability to do that. I will leave my promo code and the link to this bottle down in the description box if you guys wanna just get yourself a new water bottle that is amazing for on the go, easy to clean, it holds up great, it keeps your drinks cold, or hot and it's just like really nice way to stay on top of your goals like I personally love that and this is my new fave at the moment so I will definitely leave the links for you guys down below and get yourself a new water bottle why not treat yourself I just absolutely love this brand bottle bottle so thank you so much for sponsoring today's video now let's get into the rest of today's topic I love having chopped veg as my first meal because if I'm being honest the high volume amount it really does fill me up in the very beginning it was a little bit confusing to my body because I was so used to having like a Jersey Mike sub or something really big for lunch. But once I started to train my body into eating a little bit less because I needed to, I started to crave veggies for lunch every single day. Okay, so it's 2 p.m. and you guys are seeing my first meal of the day. You guys are gonna see I eat a lot of veggies, a lot of fruit. I'm just someone who tries to eat as much as I can and I really do feel great. So we're doing the peppers and cucumbers with a side of blueberries and the Trader Joe's goddess dressing. If you guys have been following me and my weight loss journey, then you would know that I eat this almost every single day. I even post it on my Instagram because I don't play around. It's my absolute favorite thing to eat, especially when I'm working. I chop up my veggies into pieces that I think look flattering on the plate. I love cucumbers, I love peppers. I don't have any bloating, no issues. I feel super satiated. And just making sure that you guys eat your veggies in surplus is important. As long as you guys are putting a lot on the plate and making it to where it's comfortable enough for you to feel good after the meal, then you'll feel good. And you can always eat again in an hour. Remember, we are intermittent fasting. So you can eat a good amount during this time window and it allows you to eat all of your favorite things and healthy options that make you feel super great. So 3 p.m. rolls around and I decided that I wanted to have a little bit more food. I had a sweet tooth at the moment, so I said, let me make my favorite fennel citrus salad. Being that I intermittent fast, I don't play around. I still do eat. So this is around 3.30. It's time for my citrus fennel salad. I'm obsessed with this. I have been making this every single week and I can't get enough of it. Don't mind the fact that I left a little bit of a pepper seed on the tray. How funny is it that I just refuse to use my House of Haley cutting board, but I just think it's so cute. So pretend that I'm using it. But we are gonna be using blood orange and regular oranges today to make this salad. You can use whatever citrus you want. That is what I like. I do one of each, and I am cutting them to take off the skin. I do cut a little bit of the orange off on accident. I tend to do this almost every time so what I do is I actually squeeze those peels over the salad at the end to get the juice out to provide a little bit more to the dressing I like to slice up the blood orange and the regular orange into cute little slices and plate them and it's just a really beautiful way to decorate the plate now I am taking the grater and grating my fennel if you have a mandolin please use that I just do not have one so I have to grate it now we are going to be going in with the avocado and cutting it into pieces and then I'm also just finally chopping up my pistachios. This is just how I like to decorate my plate. You guys can use pine nuts instead. And I chose not to use the feta that I showed in the beginning because I just wasn't feeling it today, but sometimes I do feta. That olive oil is my favorite, not only because it's HG, like Haley Gamba, but it tastes amazing. And I do salt and pepper, a little bit of the citrus, and that is it, guys. It is the most delicious, refreshing salad and the perfect thing to eat after having my peppers and cucumbers. It's giving skinny. Now it's about 5 p.m. and I decided that I wanted something warm. I was a little bit cold. I ran some errands and I said, you know what? I wanna heat myself up some soup to make me feel a little bit more warm and cozy. I decided to also put on a TV show at this time and to just relax. So I decided to heat up my favorite Whole Foods tomato soup. If you guys have been watching my weight loss videos and you know how much I freaking love this soup. Now a lot of people ask me due to my gut health issues if tomato soup really hurts my stomach. And I have to be honest with you guys, some tomato dish 
dishes really do. The acid is just too strong. But to be honest, guys, I guess the level of acid in this soup does not bother my stomach at all. So I really enjoy it. I eat it almost every single day. I have to get myself like four containers of the soup at the grocery store every time I go because I'm that obsessed with it. I fill it up with a bowl, fresh cracked pepper, and boom, off to eating my favorite soup ever. So I was craving cauliflower steaks for dinner. It has been something that I've been wanting to make for a while. I kind of make different variations of this dish throughout the week, whether it's with broccoli or with Brussels sprouts or with fish, but I decided tonight to make cauliflower steaks and keep it very vegetarian. And I am obsessed with this tahini dressing that I put on it. Okay, so I am going to be making my favorite cauliflower dinner. I am so obsessed with this. I make this in multiple variations. Sometimes I'll use cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Sometimes I'll use sweet potato or even just fish. And this was inspired by the restaurant True Food Kitchen. For years, I have been getting their harissa cauliflower with dates and pistachios. And as you guys can see, I reuse the same type of ingredients throughout the day. Honestly, guys, I am pretty allergic to most nuts. They really bother my tongue for some reason. So pistachios are like the one that really doesn't bother me. So I cut half my cauliflower into steaks and the other half I cut into florets. I am now dressing my cauliflower steaks how I like. I use parsley, coriander, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. You guys can use whatever spices you want like garlic or onion powder. I just use these ones because they were the ones that I honestly saw in the beginning and I'm going to be air frying my cauliflower. So this is really a flavor packed dish. Like it is so delicious and I prefer the air fryer over the oven. It just gets them extra crispy. So while they're in the air fryer for like about 15 minutes. I do 375 for 15 minutes. I am going to be making my dressing that's going to go on it. So I just do half of lemon juiced and then a little bit of tahini. I would say like about two tablespoons. Guys, I really don't measure when I cook. That's something that I really notice about myself. I just kind of go off of vibes I always have. So now we're going to be going in with a little bit of maple syrup. I actually added more a little bit later. And I'm also putting in water to thin it out a little bit to get a perfect consistency for the tahini dressing like consistency and that is what I got. I tasted it and it was very delicious so I was happy. 15 minutes later the cauliflower is done. It tastes so good. I add a little bit more of that lemon juice and I squeeze it on top and I'm cutting up one date. All you need is one. It is so sweet and I'm just going to cut it up and I'm going to place it on the cauliflower. It is just the perfect recipe for dinner and this brown rice is my favorite. It's the 90 second rice. I got freaked out when I saw on TikTok that if you leave rice in the fridge for days on and it like produces a bacteria that can kill you. So now I just make minute rice. Now I'm just gonna put the tahini dressing on and a little bit of the pistachios and that is my go-to dinner recipe. Sometimes I do it with Brussels sprouts, sometimes I do it with sweet potato, sometimes I do it with fish, but I love this recipe overall. So it's 8 p.m. and I am ready for my dessert. I don't know why, but I have been a dessert girl recently and I have been obsessed with the frozen kind bars. I think I have bought them every single week in every flavor since I discovered them. I'm just so obsessed. Currently I have the mint ones and I believe the raspberry ones in my freezer. So I alternate them throughout the days, but I love them. I literally just eat one at night. It completely satisfies my sweet tooth and wanting ice cream. I'm just so freaking obsessed with it and it is so delicious. I don't know. These bars are incredible. Let me know if you end up buying them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it. I love cooking. It's a great way for me to just feel super happy. And for me, making a beautiful plate makes eating healthy and staying lean really fun. I like to eat with good intentions, with positive vibes, and to really glamorize the health and wellness journey that I'm on. So if you guys wanna join me on the journey, then please try some of these recipes out and let me know what you think. And watch, the weight is gonna fall off your body like it did me, because when I tell you I lost so much weight eating like this and I am the happiest I've ever been, the most clear-minded I've ever been, I feel incredible. So let me know what you guys think down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.